Namaste everyone. It's Friday night. Um, I'm heading out tonight and uh, I wanted to make a quick video to kind of give everybody the heads up. Uh, awareness, awareness, awareness. Um, a lot of my friends on YouTube and my family members are making videos about awareness. Um, being conscious and aware of what is out there. Um, and what's going on right now, the lessons, the lessons and the challenges, and um, being able to understand it and not letting yourself get pulled in and your vibration lowered for any extended period of time when something does not feel right, recognize. If it's not feeling right, reevaluate, go in your heart and find out um, what does feel right. I can give an example. Um, I came home on Wednesday night and found my dog sick. I, I didn't know what was wrong with her. She's a two and a half year old Pekingese. Um, by yesterday morning, she was paralyzed and uh, I had to take her to the vet. Um, I haven't worked in six months. I mean, worked at a job. Uh, I used to work, but um, I've been working on, you know, other stuff for the last six months. Uh, she has three herniated discs and one ruptured disc and um, they could operate in 90% chance of recovery, full recovery for a thousand dollars. So it was like, I'm gonna have to put my dog to sleep and I was just completely devastated over the fact that uh, the money, you know, um, I was crying and just got caught up and I took a step back and realized, no, the money will come. And at that point, my vibration went back up. Um, everything started sinking again. Uh, I could feel my flow. I was balanced. Um, I knew it was the right thing. I mean, this, is, this dog is literally an angel. She is amazing. At the point that I made that decision, um, my insurance agent came into the neurologist's veterinarian's office with her dog's legs completely paralyzed. And we were able to be there for her. Um, I talked to another friend last night and she was at the hospital for six hours with her friend. Her dog was paralyzed. So I'm noticing this is hitting our animals too. Be conscious that it's affecting everything on this earth. And um, on top of that, I, I do believe we are where we're supposed to be. And this morning when I went and visited my bijou, uh, there was a young woman there who had to make the decision to euthanize her 15-year-old cat. And I was able to be of service. There was a dog there struggling and whining and no one seemed to be paying attention to her. And I grabbed one of the girls and said, hey, I think she's thirsty. And um, sure enough, they gave her some water. She went to the bathroom, she laid down, and she was at peace, you know? She, she was suffering because uh, people see them as dogs. You know, when, when a dog is crying and whining and trying to get up and doing things, obviously there's, you know, I know the dogs have surgery and whatnot, but, you know, um, I could sense it. And so, it, everything is just kind of synced from that point and I realize even our dogs are angels and my bijou's at the hospital spreading her love and her energy and helping everybody there dealing with you know sickness and um, this shift and you know normal things going on um, additionally uh, with what's going on right now, be aware when you go out, be aware when you're drinking, be aware if you decide you want to do drugs, be aware that that will lower your vibration. Um, originally I started out with rainbows and sunshine and daisies and you know all the happiness in the world and um, was way in my flow and just loving everything and it was the first time I'd really experienced the light in that way and it was so amazing. Well. When you experience the light, you need to experience the opposite of that. And I did last summer. Um, if people come at you for no apparent reason and don't like you, walk away, smile, stay in a loving state. Uh, they have something attached to them that is not vibing your energy and is going after you. Um, 
Pay attention to the people getting out of control. Pay attention to the vibrations you're feeling. Make sure you're surrounding yourself in, you know, platinum bubbles or um, different shades, if you know your color rays of bubbles and protection, even a mirrored ball, you know, so everything's deflecting off of you and, and not, you know, coming at you so that you are taking care of your field. Um, be mindful. My son taught me that. Be mindful. Be centered. Um, if you choose to go out and get caught up and get wasted, understand that you are going into spiritual warfare with a bikini on if you don't know how to field and protect yourself and stay with that highest vibration and know how to control and discipline yourself. Um, in those environments, it's a lot easier to get something attached to you and pay attention to how you're feeling. If you start feeling like you're drinking too much, stop. You probably have attracted something, you know, and the more you drink, the deeper it can go. Um, be aware that there are other, uh, spiritual, um, people in the know, people who are like you, but actively choose to take part knowing the lower vibration energies are affecting them. There are groups like that, and I have lived that. Um, they do know, they can see, they, they can vibe things, and they choose to, um, partake in things that are wrong. That's their experience to have. I don't want I don't to go into right and wrong because I'm all about center and balance, but they're actively choosing to engage with these lower vibration energies because they enjoy it. Their ego is telling them, yeah, let's keep going. Um, and they actively look for light workers and star seeds to feed off their energy. Be aware. Um, I'll just give you a little bit of an example. Last summer, I was really into Reiki, doing a lot of Reiki healing, working with crystals, um, channeling, doing a lot of different stuff, and came in contact with this group. And uh, I understand it was the experience I needed to have. You know, I had the light, fluffy clouds, and I got to see the other side. And basically, they they want your energy. They want they want to dig into you. The more aware you are, and the more you're moving up and ascending and evolving and clearing stuff if they can get a hold of you more power to them so be aware um i guess that's about it uh i, I need to head out now but i wish you all a fantastic weekend and um i look forward to meeting a lot of my family and friends and this is just an amazing experience and we're all connecting now and um, we're very blessed and count your blessings acknowledge your blessings thank God for your blessings you know um, this is a really amazing time and we are so lucky to be a part of it namaste and